So hi again, there we go. We're gonna continue with taking the derivative of the natural log. So here's the first question. And here, basically what I should let you know that um, if um, y equals a, b, then y prime would be a prime b plus b prime a, and that's called the product rule. Also, if y equals a over b, then y prime would be a prime b minus b prime a all over b squared. So these are this is called the product rule right here. And this is called the quotient rule. So now here we have a product now. So you have to take the derivative of a, which is x cubed. So y prime would be the derivative of a, which is x cubed. The derivative is 3x squared times b, which is ln x, plus the derivative of b, which is the derivative of ln x is 1 over x times a, which is x cubed. Maybe I'll just put a dot there so you don't mix it up with the x's. So that's times. Plus, now we go to the derivative of this, which is 4. Here we'll get 3x squared ln x plus x squared plus 4. Because this x and the q, x cubed will cancel, and you get x squared right there. And that's the answer for this one. And here's the second question right here. This is definitely a quotient rule. So, um, a here is the ln x and b is the x squared. So if we want to do y prime, this will be the derivative of ln x, which is 1 over x times b, which is x squared, plus or minus, sorry, um, the derivative of b prime, which is 2x times a, which is ln x, all over x squared, and you square that. Now this will give me. 1x times x squared just gives you x minus 2x ln x all over x to the 4. And now what I could do, I could cancel this x and this x and cancel an x from the x to the 4. And I'm going to end up with 1 minus 2 ln x over x to the 4. I mean x to the three, because we reduced everything by x that gave me one, that cancels, gives me one there. And this gives me x to the four, that's x to the three, that's what I did. I divide everything by x. Um, and that's the final answer for this one. So here is another one that involves e to the power of two x. So here is the rule for the, uh, the e, y equals e to the f of x is the y prime will be Rewrite in it again as e to the power of f of x, and then the chain rule is to do the derivative of f of x, which is f prime of x. Now here we have this, and we have the ln. Also, this is a product, so these two things are multiplied. So now it's going to be a prime, which is e to the two x times the derivative of two x, which is two multiplied by ln x, which is b plus the derivative of ln x, which is 1 over x times or times sway e to the 2x. Now, what we're going to do is um, take out e to the 2x as the greatest common factor. And we end up with 2 ln x plus 1 over x in the other bracket. And that is the answer for this one. So here's another one. It's a natural log of e to the x plus 1. Now, one thing that you don't want to do here is distribute the ln into here and to there. Because this is not the ln times this. It's the ln of this. So that's a common mistake that we see here. We see some students go, oh, well, that's ln e x plus ln 1. They think they could do that. That's wrong because this is ln of this, you know, so um, you're learning all of this, you're not learn times, it's learn of. 
So therefore, the answer for this one will be the derivative of ln is one over this, which is e to the x plus one times the derivative of this, which is the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x and the derivative of one is just zero, so that's the answer. Now just put the e to the x since it's multiplied in the refraction, you just multiply it to the top and you have e to the x over e to the x plus one. And that's it for this. Um, we'll be good with all these four questions. Again, thanks for watching. Till next time, bye-bye.